You know, we got the uh, the update on Jake, but is there anything more specific that you can talk about with him right now? No, just that we're pleased with uh, what we saw yesterday. Um, that was that was good. I was, um, you know, happy to get that news uh, last evening, and um, I didn't want to bother everybody at nine o'clock last night because um, I figured some of you might have had plans or something and been doing some things. So I just uh, waited till this morning just to let everybody know that it was good, and um, so he's going to get to you know, move back further um, and throw harder. And so those are good things. Is there any need for further imaging at this point, or are you guys just ramping them up right now? I'll rely on the doctors. Um, they haven't told me anything specific on it, but if they want to take another look, they'll take another look. When his progression allows, is he clear to begin mound work whenever that is, or does he need? The the step after this throwing progression would be mound, but there's right. no defined time on that right now. Right, but um, as he progresses through, so he gets to the distance he needs off flat ground. Like the distance, is he good? velocity. Does he, to, he doesn't then, need another MRI or anything before getting up. Uh, if the, if the doctors prescribe one, then okay. we'll do it, obviously. Um, but but I'll put that in their hands. But right now, it's just a matter of uh, letting him step back further, throw harder, and then and then again treating the patient more than anything else. So just how does he feel, and um, you know how is the uh, How's the scapula feel under a little bit more stress, which uh, which will come with that distance and velocity? Do you have a general sense of how many rehab outings you'll need, things like that, once you can start getting back into it? Oh, we do have a general sense, uh, but uh, I'm not going to, you know, kind of go into that detail. I think one of the things we've tried to be consistent with here is just not, you know, setting timelines um, on people, but, but you know, kind of more treating them as they progress through things. Right now he's just long tossing, is that what it is? Uh, yeah, he's moving back in his distance and throwing a little bit harder. So he's not even really at where he would be, Billy, to start a spring training per se? Um, I mean, most guys, when they start spring training, I mean, everybody's a little different, but most right. people have jumped on a mound by the time they've gotten right. to spring training. Okay. Most players have, most right. pitchers have. In these most recent tests, is there anything still in there that, there that they showed, or is it pretty much clean? It looked, it looked pretty clean. I mean, you know, just like everything. Um, you know, things continue to calcify after they've had, you know, uh, a reaction or, or a trauma to them. Um, but uh, but it looked really good under the, under the picture. Um, we had it looked at by a number of a number of doctors. Do you feel somewhat reassured, or is there still a great level of caution and whatever other you know, words you could use to describe not being a hundred percent convinced that this is going in the right direction? I mean, I'm going to rely on the, the people that went to school for it um, and, and do this for a living. And, and, you know, one of the doctors that we're conferring with is, uh, has treated this before um, in, a, in a picture. So um, he's seen this and, and has run through uh, cases in the past. So I'm encouraged because, you know, he's weighing in on this and has, and has dealt with it. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I'm pretty positive. I, th I think Buck may have mentioned a couple of weeks back, Billy, that you guys were just kind of looking at him from a mechanical standpoint and see if there's anything that you could look at to whether it's preventative or something that would be helpful going forward is that accurate to say that you guys have been examining that kind of stuff with him or? I mean, we study every single picture we have um, especially with some of the technology that we've been able to uh, to implement here and and as well as in uh, Port St. Lucie and we look at everybody um, so that's not in a particular case um, every picture every start Gets a gets an evaluation and a biomechanical breakdown. So this this is just something that was a fluke thing, or nothing in particular was caused. Um, yeah, I think you know by and large it's it's in general. Um, we just run through the checklist on the on the pictures and see if there's something different that goes on. Um, but I'm not going to get into any kind of specific detail on Jake. How have the conversations been with Jake? How's his Mood van and his it was great. He called me yesterday uh, afternoon, and um, I said, "Were you happy with today?" And he sounded happy with today, or yesterday, I should say. So um, that was it. But he sounded good. With Marte, do you expect him back if there's the minimum stay on the Bremen Lester? Hard to say right now. I mean, he was um, really shook up yesterday, understandably. Um, so when I talked to him, I didn't feel it was the right moment to ask him about a return. Um, but as I was walking out here, I just got a phone call from his agent, so I think I might have some news a little bit later on on what he's thinking. Pretty good. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. Thank you.